Olympia of Silicon Valley, I think the, um, what they have is the infrastructure for patient capital. Yes. You know, they can enter there and they have uh, seed a, Series A, Series B, Series uh, C funding uh, on a concept. And it, mm-hmm. So we want to be able to bring it uh, in our own African context, yes. specifically in our own global context, where it may not be that easy for people to be able to access capital. Uh, we know that there are very great initiatives like um, the empowerment bank initiatives and uh, other lo- local banks that are trying we to build. Working. We cannot do it very efficiently. <laughs> we are trying to build the gap, right? Um, to some extent, they are, but I don't know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so what is what is the what is the um, advice for an entrepreneur who is actually in Zimbabwe on the ground, dealing with the realities of of um, not being able to or access grant funding, yeah. uh, loans, or whatever the case is. Well, what you do, what you do. Well, right, so in that case, I, I believe this is like how I give it operate myself, right? Okay. We don't have access to, to that money. So maybe you said your business, you have 150 bucks, you have 200 dollars, or you have nothing. But you just have a concept, and maybe you can start running the concept like that, right? Mm. So the best thing you can do is reinvesting the money that you're getting. Right? Okay. So you can live, you yourself, you can live on a stringent budget, but then you make sure that you get the money that you're getting from the business is going back to the business. Okay. It's the, the business must rebuild itself okay. because there's no hope, there's, no, there's nobody coming, to, there's no Christ <laughs> coming to save your business from yeah. somewhere. Okay. So the money that you're getting from the business, you're trading, maybe uh, whatever whatever the business that you're in, and then you make some money, you come back, you reinvest the money. You, the money, the, uh, it expands, right? Mm. You get more of it. You get get the money that you got. You reinvest. You reinvest. Mm. So it means, um, let's say, I'm every month I'm reinvesting. Like for myself, I have a mm. specific budget that I reinvest in my business okay. every month. Right? Okay. Uh, that goes into advertising. Maybe it's improving the equipment that you use, or something like that, right? Or hiring uh, somebody else. Mm-hmm. It, it's actually part of reinvesting in the business. So there has to be a certain amount of money that you reinvest in the business. So you find that after six months of reinvesting. A certain amount of money into the into the business, the working capital that we have, would have increased amazing, so, and your business will be at a very different level. Okay. As the best, I think, boots, bootstrapping. Yeah. So we have to be masters of how to bootstrap and I grow businesses uh, in this environment. I agree completely. I think um, the the ultimate formula for for an environment where there is not um, sufficient capital, yes. what you then have to do is to create amazing value. Yes. And then you have to be able to. Because you have to ask yourself, what is the capital coming in for, right? So capital is either coming so in to, 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 to get the equipment, to get the labor, to get the marketing. So if you can be able to have um, strategic relationships, that can be able to give you the sufficient value for a, a, a future promise prospect to return, right? So it's a form of an investment because what capital is anyway is just an enabling a fuel to be able to make the machine move. So if you're able to get the machine to move, uh, without explicitly getting the, the dollars and the cents, uh, it still works. So I think one of the ways uh, of actually pushing, uh, for, for, assuming we do you know, you want to run a business, you ask yourself, who can be able to help me to be able to do the specific thing that I need? If I need a website, who can I partner with to be able to get a bit of revenue from what we're doing and then we move forward? Because as you say, it can be challenging, especially where, where we, in an economy we do not have uh, collateral money, and people don't have collateral, yes. uh, they do not have any form of security, they don't have even a lot of business experience. If you enjoyed this program, make sure you subscribe so that you can be able to get this quality content about Kurongel. Angati Big Boys.